approximately one in five men and one in three women will be diagnosed with osteoporosis within their lifetime. In 2013, osteoporotic fractures made more hospital visits than heart attack, stroke, and breast cancer combined. Moreover, one in three men and women will die within their first year of obtaining a fracture to the hip. But osteoporosis isn't just a health burden, it's an economic one, with over $20 billion spent on individuals with osteoporosis every single year in North America. So what is osteoporosis? Osteoporosis is a disease characterized by thin, porous bones as a result of low bone mineral density, which increases your risk to fracture. Bone, originally thought to be very static, we now know is consistently changing, always being built up and broken back down by two cell types. The first being osteoblasts, cells that make up the bone, and osteoclasts, cells that break down the bone. It is primarily the ratio that exists between these two cell types that decide whether there is a net gain or a net loss of bone. So about our early 30s, we can see there is a steady decline of bone mineral density throughout our life. And this is more dramatic for women who go through menopause because of the loss of estrogen. And we now know that estrogen is very important for bone health because it helps you stimulate osteoblastic activity and increase the amount of mineral that is produced within your body. But recent research across the world has now shown that populations who habitually consume tea have higher bone mineral density and a lower risk of fracture. So I decided to investigate why this is by looking at the main components of tea, which are flavonoids. Flavonoids are chemical compounds naturally produced by plants that give rise to tea's color, taste, and smell. So what I did is I took these flavonoids, added them to human osteoblastic cells, and found that with an increase in concentration of flavonoids, we had an increase in activity, an increase in cell division, and an increase in mineralization. We believe this is occurring because the flavonoids have a similar structure to estrogen and therefore may act as an estrogen mimic. This means when they enter the body through consumption, they can bind to estrogen receptors found within your bone and produce those same favorable outcomes that estrogen naturally does. So in conclusion, consumption of tea leads to an increase in flavonoids, which help to stimulate osteoblastic activity, which increases the amount of bone mineral within your body, creating stronger bones and making you less likely to fracture. So next time you're at home, think about your bone health and be like Mr. T and brew something good. <laughs>